Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Visual PowerPoint Graphs series, you will learn how to create designer bar chart in PowerPoint. You can call it designer column chart as well and a typical bar chart or column chart in PowerPoint looks like this. Instead of this look, what if your column charts look like this? You can create this wonderful designer column chart or bar chart from scratch and it's extremely simple and it doesn't take much time to create this if you have this one ready. So let us go to a new slide and let us create the designer column chart from scratch. First I am going to insert a sample chart. Let us take this simple clustered column chart and click OK and that puts this column chart here and you have the associated data here and I'm not going to fiddle around with that because the idea of this tutorial is not so much to teach you how to create a column chart but to convert a typical column chart into a designer column chart. How do we do that? It's very very simple. First I'm going to go to the auto shapes menu and under block arrows I'm going to pick this one called as up arrow and I draw the up arrow onto the right here I'm going to remove the outline. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove these blue columns with this arrow. For this I'm going to change the color to blue and I'm going to press this right click and press copy. Now this automatically puts this shape into the short term memory of the computer also called as clipboard. Now I click on this one which is the blue column and since all blue columns represent eight, one series that is series one all of them get selected. The next thing I'm going to do is to click paste. As soon as I click paste or control V the columns get converted into arrows. Let us convert these red ones, red columns into arrows. Now I am going to change the color to red for this arrow. Once again, copy and click on this series and press Ctrl V and you have this converted. Now convert this into green, Ctrl C to copy, click on the series, Ctrl V and it gets converted into arrow. Now we don't need this anymore and we deleted it and there you have a boring column chart is now converted into a designer column chart in PowerPoint. There are tons of very interesting things you can do with column charts in PowerPoint. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our 320 plus visual PowerPoint graphs pack for busy business presenters like you. The templates that I'm going to show you are, I mean, they work like magic when it comes to data visualization. The first example is this one, wherein it shows a column chart where you have a target line here and the monthly performance shown here. And whenever the monthly performance is above the target, it shows a surplus with data label showing plus six or plus uh, the surplus number. And whenever there is a deficit, it shows in minus number, the data label. And let us see how to edit this data. First, I'm going to click on this, right click, go to edit data. I have an option to edit data using PowerPoint itself or I can edit data using Excel. Let me use the simple edit data function here. Now this brings the accompanying worksheet. Wherever you see the cells colored in yellow, you can edit them with your own numbers. And wherever we have the dark gray color, they are better left untouched. Let us say, um, here in this we have seen the target is 20 and the performance of the month of January, which is actually a surplus of plus 6 over the target of 20, is instead of 26 uh, was only 18, let us assume. And as soon as I convert this into 18 and press enter, you can see that it shows as a deficit of minus 2. Say the performance of the month of February, instead of being only 10, 
is say 24 which happens to be above target and here you can see that it is shown as plus 4. It almost works like magic that you can see that um, the numbers and the data labels get changed automatically and that makes a simple column chart into something much more valuable. Here is a visual representation of performance of individual months over a given target. This is an iceberg chart. Wherever you see values above the sea level, they are given with data labels and they have been surplus and whenever the performance has been below the target, it is shown under the sea level and there is no data label for it. Let us see how to edit this one. I have, uh, I click this, I go to edit data and as always, the ones that you can change are given here in yellow and the ones that you are advised not to change the cells uh, that you are advised not to change are given in grey. Let us say for this month, um, instead of 12, the January, the performance instead of 12 has been um, say 6. You can see that the value changes here. Now the month of April instead of it being 28 has been um, less than the target of 25. So let us say it has been only 20. As soon as I make the change you can see that it not only goes under the sea level but the data label is also has been removed. Let us say we want to change this April figure to instead of 20, let us take it to 29. As soon as I do that, you have the performance coming up and also the data label shown. So that is how this uh, graph works. And all these almost work like magic and you just need to change the sample numbers with your own numbers and you have some remarkable visualization of your data. Let me show you another example. Uh, this one shows performance before and after an event. Let us say there has been a new management uh, that has taken over from May. You, can, you want to compare the performance of uh, the months before the management, new management has taken over and after the event. Let us say I want to change uh, the event instead of that happening from May. Let us say it happened only from July. I want to remove this May and June figure so I delete and you can see here the event happening before July and after July. Let us say instead of this in July I want to have this change happening from March let us assume. Then I take this one from where the change has been. I click on this small box here and as soon as that converts just give me one second as soon as I hold that I can move this to March and you can see the change happens here so that is how um, this particular graph works there are 320 such almost magical with data visualization available in our 320 plus visual data visual PowerPoint graphs pack some of them are so beautiful like these uh, double thermometers, the speedometers, you have the battery chart, uh, you have these funnels and you have butterfly chart. There are some stunning collection of data visualization graphs available in our 320 plus visual PowerPoint graphs pack. To create those graphs all you need to do is to go to edit data and change the sample numbers with your own numbers and the graphs get created or updated automatically. You can always take a look at the demo video of our Visual PowerPoint Graphs pack as part of our YouTube channel. Hope you liked how to create designer column chart or bar chart in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials or if you want to read more articles to improve your PowerPoint skills and presentation skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.